All right, everybody. This has been a very long time coming. This is Dimensions Map 3, Omega Minor on Hurt Me Plenty. Yeah, I've been kind of putting this off for a little while. So, um, it's kind of a tough map. Obviously, we're going to be doing it with saves, um, <laughs> and not on ultraviolence. Let's go ahead and see if, um, I've improved enough to make this maybe a bit easier. Might as well just get that started, right? Get it out of the way early. Peel off the band-aid. Let's do this. Right, so, uh, I haven't actually played this in a very long time, so a lot of this stuff's going to be just purely from memory. Okay. Not off to a horrible start. I would like to grab that armor, though, because, um... That makes this a little bit hairy. Okay, there we go. Just very hesitant to fire. Too much. Because I'd rather everything in fight. If we're being completely honest. Now, I somewhat believe that, uh... These guys could probably, if they believe in themselves hard enough, they could probably take down this here Cyber Almond. But I guess we'll find out. Hmm. It's also kind of making me wonder if I'd actually be able to take out any of this stuff on UV. Okay, see, yeah, that's the thing. They just didn't believe in themselves enough, that's all. They, <laughs> they would have thrown more 80 damage projectiles at them. They might have been able to kill him, but they didn't. Lazy bastards. I also probably could have just jumped over to the next fight. I need more ammo. Go do that. There we go. Holy crap. <laughs> Did that first try. I was actually kind of expecting to die there. Maybe this won't go terribly. <laughs> We've still got a whole map ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. Should I grab this? I'm kind of thinking I should. Now, which uh, fight do I want to do next? We got a rocket launcher up there. We got a plasma rifle over there. I'm going to save here because that way, if I make the wrong decision, I could just go back and do something else. Right. Um, I seem to remember with this one an arch file spawning in this corner here that I need to take out kind of quickly. I also remember somehow getting the cyber demon stuck on my uh, <laughs> my um, uh, which one? What did I play this on? Hey, not too rough. Yeah, that one. Yep. Oh, two of them. Oh, also got some, uh, pain in the ass elementals. Alright, let's see if I can kind of isolate those guys. Stop infighting, you little bastards. Okay, there we go. Now, I do want to get rid of the souls. That's always kind of the case. Ow. Huh. Took some splash damage, I guess. Might have been a revenant missile. I don't really know. I'm not an expert. I wish I had more than five cells, though. Okay, I can actually escape from the arena. And I think I'm going to do that now. <laughs> Just run away like a coward. Alright, well, he's still doing something. You know what's funny when you think about it? I could... Oh, no, I can't exit now. Right, I gotta go through that one fight. It's like, the exit's right there, though. But, anyway. Obviously not gonna be doing... Oh, right, you guys can fly. Well, consider yourself <laughs> yourselves isolated. You fools. So, I think up here, I'm not trapped. Unless I... May oh, you don't know this fight's... This fight's for later, that's right, because, um... I think you could freely pick up the rocket launcher? Yeah. It's just when you get the red key and you hit that, which is also instantly what unlocks the exit. Man, yeah, that guy's just alone down there. He cleared those guys out pretty quickly, I gotta say. <laughs> Holy crap, it's funny looking back at this, just how many problems I had doing this on Hurt Me, or Hey Not To Hurt Me Plenty. Yeah, whatever it is. Alright. Is there still an imp? Man, dude's just hanging out with his bro, I guess. <laughs> imp, you are standing in a very dangerous place, I told you! 
I tried to warn you, you didn't listen. Just trying to wonder if maybe this is just general improvement over the years, or just because Stardate just completely broke me. So speaking of being broken... I'm gonna blame Stardate for that too, by the way. It's funny, because I'm not even done with Stardate yet. I'm still in the final fight of uh, 20XD7. Yeah. There we go. That could have gone worse. I am actually a little surprised I survived that face rocket. That must have been kind of a low damage roll, because... I mean, that was a direct hit. I also still find it really funny how I was just talking about Star Stardate breaking me, and I just completely forgot how to dodge. Ah, oh, trauma just manifests itself in very strange ways, doesn't it? Alright, so... I think in the next fight I do end up... Do I get a Mega Sphere? I'm gonna just go ahead and save, and then if I don't, then we'll see what happens, but... This one's a little tricky to get to. You gotta just sort of... Ugh. You gotta manage to hit this without going out. <laughs> so like I said, you've gotta... You gotta manage to hit that without going over. No, not like that. Okay. Drop down like... Thusly. And then just go around. Easy. As I almost just slide off the ledge on the easy part. Now this area you gotta be careful of, because uh, you can very easily get elastic collisioned off of this. So I I try to just take sort of the outer approach. Yeah, this is the first time I played this map since a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far away. I actually was practicing it like <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. There'd be a BFG here if I were playing on UV, but uh we're not, so. Yep, Megasphere. Okay. Also, big thanks to whoever's driving down my street with an incredibly loud vehicle. I appreciate that. At, you know, 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> As you do. Alright, so this is basically all we've got. We've got a super shotgun. We've got some shells. Not a whole lot of them. Or, sorry, cells. Cells. We have a bit more in the way of shells, but basically this is just going to be a massive infighting party. So, uh... Yeah, here we go. So there's one... One team. There's the other team. And, uh... One of the observers. Ooh. Mr. Soiba Demon. I can't believe they shot each other instead of the Cyber Almond. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and... Try to horseshoe that. No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> what am I talking about? What the hell am I smoking? Alright. This is not a... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm completely stuck here. Yeah. Alright, so first, like... I mean, not technically the first death, but, like, the first combat death of the run. Which, yeah, this fight is a bit, um... It's a bit more than the previous ones. How about that? Although, still, it's funny, because, like, when I was first... Well, making an attempt to do this... I still wouldn't have been able to do those fights without multiple deaths, so, uh... I would consider that kind of a... Kind of kind of cool, I guess. So pretty much what you have to do here is just... Uh... Yeah, yeah, right out of cells. What you pretty much have to do here, so... This is the exit area back here. Pretty much the main objective is to survive long enough for that to open up. Preferably without dying in the process. Cyber Demon, what the hell were you doing, sir? Aside from shooting me at close range, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't good. All right, so now this is the dimensions video I was looking forward to. That's that's the word I was looking for, right? Looking forward to. I don't really care about the imps too much. Should probably. Ugh, that was a high damage roll. I don't even know what hit me, but yeah, that knocked me under 200 or under 100. Yeah, I think what I need to do is just pay a little bit more attention. Oops. Pay a little more attention to those cacos and uh, rocket them while I still have a little bit of room. There we go. So trying to make. Okay. Um, Cyber Demon's not spreading enough of his love, I guess. Get get T. What? No. Okay. Ow. 
Yeah, there's a lot of things to teleport in. If that wasn't incredibly obvious. What in the world? Why was the cyber demon facing that way? That completely... He must have started infighting with something else. Yeah, this is kind of a... <laughs> this is a bit of a tricky fight. In case that wasn't obvious. It's like, you really don't want to, uh... The cyber demon just needs to basically pay attention to the correct thing, otherwise you're screwed. <sighs> and the imps need to stop being pieces of shit. That would also help. I wonder if maybe hiding just behind the imps might make things a little bit better. Well, everything spawned. That's uh, kind of a good start. Oh, 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 nope. That might have been a... Oh! Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, jeez. These imps are a pain in the fucking ass. Okay, well, that's open. There is a Megasphere in there, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab that. Right there. Holy fucking shit. Oh, I didn't really want to do that. Um... Maybe I can go back in there. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, they were just kind of, uh... There was a bit of a tussle. A little bit of a power struggle, perhaps. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to do this now, because... I, I... Can't consider that the end of combat, really. So, if I screw this up, then... Okay. Or the next part, for that matter. Yeah, it also doesn't show up on the auto map, so, um... I don't know. I think the only way I actually knew about this was checking it out in Doom Builder. I don't remember. It's been a while. I've known how to do this map since before I was a Doom Tuber, but um, I was a lot worse back then, so uh, it was one of those like Russian overkill or bust sort of things for me. Okay, easy does it. No problem. I'm sure this is probably a multi-use teleporter, right? Right? Oh god, what am I going to see when I get up here? Oh, right. Why did I think the center of that was the teleporter? Ooh, that was really close. Oh. I mean, that's not really all that surprising, all things considered, but... Okay, that's good. Cleared out the bulk of them. Revenants go down first. Hopefully I can steer the missiles... Realistically, I can steer him into the wall. It's not really a big deal. I just have to kind of go wide and then... There we go. There's actually another uh, shootable switch that I need to, well, shoot over here. Cool. Well, that fight's done. So, when you go beyond here, you'll see a little red torch. Shoot at the red torch. It goes up. That unlocks the secret exit. Or the secret uh, fight. <laughs> Oh, and what a fight that is. Alright, so we're back here. Back in the swing of things. Right, so uh, next step is going to be, I guess, that thing in the center there. Which is going to be um, a laugh riot, trust me. Because you get this little platforming section here. It's taking a little bit easy. And then right when you get up here and hit the switch... get that plus oh miss that really fucked that up all right the thing that I'm, I'm not worried as much about these guys the problem is that uh actually there's really no good approach here yeah that hear those lost souls yeah there's a pain elemental and you've got a platform back I want you to infight me, you little bastard. Okay. Let's just do this. Let him get a little bit closer. It's better this way. There's plenty of shells. I mean, that's that's not really a problem. So, um, yeah. Basically with this map, so there's uh, three fights that I was kind of, well, dreading. The ones that kind of made me just put this off for way, way, way too long. There was the one we just did. Not... That one up on the switch, that's kind of... <laughs> that one's just kind of mean. 
But there's the uh, the one that we just did. Oh, where's that pain elemental? Where the hell are you, you bastard? Yeah, um, that's secret one. There's the one underground in this section, and then there's the one... Uh, well... Whoa. See ya. <laughs> and then there's the one over to the right side there. Which I think is what we unlocked when we hit that switch. Oh, he is so far away. My goodness. So far away. What? What the hell? Where the hell did you come from? I was trying to admire that slime trail that appeared. Yeah, I guess rewind if you want to see it because the game doesn't want me to show it off. There we go. That's... Maybe that was the one that flew over that way. I'm still not really sure how it got around me without me noticing, but then again, commentary. It uh, makes things a little bit trickier. Uh, unfortunately, I... You know what? Hold on. I don't know if you... Did I shoot you when I was up there? I'd rather not climb up there. There we go. Okay. Alright, next fight is this one. This is uh, quite an interesting one. Do I want to grab this here right now? Or do I want to try to save it for the ending? We're going to save back here. Just I'm going to try it without. Although I think I'm going to need it for this fight. So the way this one works is when I hit this switch here. Okay, I just wanted to check to see if this was hurt floor or not. It is not. When I hit that switch there, it starts kind of a timed fight. Uh, things will spawn on all four of these corners. And the inside area will open up. You see right underneath, there's that little like notch kind of under there. There's a bunch of arch vials inside of that center area. So if you're out here, they could zap the hell out of you. You have to basically kind of just move from corner to corner while an overwhelming force goes after you. Yeah, it, it's um, it's a bit tight, <laughs> to say the least. So we'll see how this goes. Let's uh, hit the switch. And as you do the fight, switches... Yeah, I got fucking imps. Yeah, as you do the fight, more switches will be revealed. That's how you kind of progress through the phases. Nope. Yeah. Well, you get the idea. Like I said, trying to save that. We'll see if I can actually manage to do it. This honestly would be... I think you get more weapons. Ooh, bad timing. Obviously. Don't have a whole lot of health to work with either, so... Um, you also have to kind of manually keep track of... Uh, of your uh, flames, the flames of love. If you want to use some <laughs> Italo Doom parlance, I'm using way too much health in this. Okay, I can see the next switch unlocked. It's kind of hard to see. Could have sworn you got rockets on here, but that might just be on lower difficulties. Maybe it unlocks later. I don't know. I think the next wave is uh, a whole bucket of revenants. Ooh. I love those accidental dodges. There we go. So as you can see, they're pretty aggressive. I think I'm safe here. Not for long. I don't know how I got locked in place. Yeah, I moved a little too early. I wonder if maybe I should just be more aggressive with the switches and just let them in fight. Like I said, I haven't really practiced this in a minute, so... Like, maybe I just want to get rid of the Imps, leave the Hell Knights, and then... have them possibly tussle. Because the Imps are a huge problem in this fight. As they often are with uh, anything where space is involved. Getting bored with space. I'm kind of amazed that that's like the first time they've kind of openly zapped me. Now I do know the uh, ending of this are, involves some fun cyber demons. Oh, 
Oh, you little fucker. Oh, it was the fucking arch file. It's so hard to tell when you're actually getting zapped because, like, sometimes I think it's that you're just moving quickly enough where the flame doesn't really have a chance to draw. Yeah, like right there. I mean, it. the one that was on me, I think, was already done, but I think another one was getting me at the same time. Yeah, I'm done. That's not going to work. Yeah, like right there. That's, I think, a perfect example, because, like, the flame barely appeared, and I was just immediately zapped. So, I don't know. I'm going to give this a few tries. If not, I'll just uh, grab the Mega, and we'll start from there. Ugh, these imps suck ass. Like, I actually feel that I have the best chance after this phase is over. Just because the imps do so much to block you from moving that, uh... Hell, even when I was on the, uh, early part of the Revenant f Ow, you fucker. On the early part of the Revenant phase, the imps were still causing problems. Oh. Maybe a little too close to the sun there. <sighs> yep, too early. Hmm. Maybe a couple more tries, because I think if I manage to... Oh, shoot, I'm trying to think of what that third switch does. I know one of them, it might be the fourth one, were the cyber demons only on ultra violence? Oh boy, I ask myself so many questions that I should have probably, I should probably know going in, but that's okay. It's uh, not a fully blind run, but it's kind of a, uh, I forgot, I, f I forgot it run. So yeah, case in point, Imps are a problem. I actually kind of wish I had maybe a little bit of a faster gun. I don't really... Ugh, I don't really want to waste my plasma on those guys, though. Okay, um... It's one of those problems, though. It's like, yeah, like right there. You do a very limited movement. Nope, I didn't really have much of a choice. There weren't, there weren't enough Hell Knights in that section. I just had to keep moving. Wow, blocked by the first imp that's behind. Beautiful. Oh my god, really? Yeah, this weapon being this slow does not help me. What is with these people in these fucking cars, man? I'm, like, in the back of my property, too. That's the worst part about it. Like, just imagine, like, if I were sitting in my, um... Like, my living room's in the front of my house. If I were sitting in that room... <laughs> well, let's just say there's there's a reason why I legitimately use... Um... Why I just use, like, earphones when I'm watching TV. Because sometimes... And this will be, like, at one in the morning. Because people are fucking assholes. I will literally need that so I can actually hear it without turning the volume up to unreasonable levels. It's just stupid. Let's talk about a city that, like, I'm normally not super crazy about this because of how they get abused, but there's a reason noise ordinances are, uh, a thing. Because of fuckers like that ruining it for everybody. It's one thing if it's, like, one in the afternoon, but, like... Oh. Nope. But yeah, with it being, um, oh, quarter after ten, like, there's people who actually, you know, are asleep by this hour. So yeah, a little bit of a dick move to drive your incredibly loud bikes and cars up the street in a residential neighborhood at about this time in the evening. Just saying. This is your public service announcement and random unrelated Doom topic because I apparently can't do this fight. All right, I'm gonna try grabbing the sphere. That'll probably help a tiny bit. So like I said, I'd rather avoid it and save it for uh, the next major crisis, but... Yeah, I think I need the extra bit of... Especially when this shit happens and... Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. 
Didn't feel like it did that much damage before. I don't know why. Oh my goodness. And to think, this fight gets even worse on uh, Ultra Violence. He's trying to really avoid shooting these... Um, <sighs> Revenants. Or not Revenants, the Hell Knights. So what happens when I hit that? Oh right, I forgot there's a Revenant fa- or um, Arch File phase. How am I gonna have enough ammo for this? Hold on, how many Arch Files are actually out right now? Oh wait, I don't really have a way of checking. Hold on. It's one, two... Consider this a scouting run. Three? Okay. Do the Cyber Demons actually appear in this difficulty? They do not. Okay. However, if you hit that fourth switch, after a little while, those ones in the center will get crushed. Let's see if they're... Oh, wait, kid, you're bothering me. Uh... Maybe? <laughs> oh, no, they did. It just... Life came at me uh, fast, I guess. Hold on, wait a minute. All right, I, I just got to experiment real quick, just a little bit more. So we got that one, that one, and number three. And how long does that take to open up? You know, guys, you're not helping me right here. I need to see that switch, buddy. Get out of my way. Okay, so there is a delay, so you can't just really speed run the switches and call it a day. However, you see those guys get, uh, they get wrecked pretty hard at this point, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, they all die very quickly. All right. So now we know. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Um, die. I just realized I didn't grab the sphere. <laughs> oh, well. <sighs> Got stuck on the wall. Yeah, you just get blocked so easily in this section with these imps. So, I don't know, maybe, um... It almost seems to me like the way to do this... I should probably mention, as I... Just a, as a reminder, this is one of the fights I've been... Uh, fuck you, uh, you stupid-ass bastard person. But anyway, I should remind you, this is one of the fights I was dreading. So, um... Are you... Oh, these damn square hitboxes are awkward. Okay. And then the uh, plasma will at least let me... ...hasten the demise of at least one of the arch files. Oh, that's cool, thanks. Uh, great, awesome. That, oh, okay, can you stop that, maybe? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you do have... Ugh, man. I just don't... I gotta find a balance for when... I forgot to grab this. Let me make another save where I grab that. There we go. Also, can't go inside because there's just barely not enough room. So, uh... These guys just... You have to take so many melee imp hits. It's a shame you can't just, like, grab the Megasphere in mid-fight, because, um, that I think would make this a lot easier. Just being able to bank it for a little bit, but, yeah, I can understand why you wouldn't be able to, because it would make it a lot easier to bank it. Whoa! Okay, I need to get that other switch. I couldn't even see what was going on. Why were the flames trans or uh, opaque? <laughs> there was just were there just that many of them? I couldn't tell where I was standing, so uh, the ones from the the basement area might have been blocking me. All right, well I think that's it's a that was better, I guess. Okay, I can't take an early zap. Just period. Sorry, I'm just gonna reload if that happens. Oh my god, I'm getting so tired of these imps. 
I'm just gonna play this with a gameplay mod that just lets me disable. Yeah, that's too much damage. This just lets me disable M's. Imagine how much easier this would be. I do find it really f a really funny inversion, though, when um, mappers will just find ways of using low level enemies against players. Because, I mean, in most, like, slaughtery type maps, imps exist to be jibbed. But, uh, our good friend Mr. Zool knows what he's doing, so, uh... <laughs> he's a consummate professional in absolute mapping bastardry. What? I didn't even... <laughs> the engine doesn't help, especially when it just randomly decides not to draw the flame. At any point. Okay. Yeah, I... That's one of the problems, like... Sometimes you just have to dodge a projectile. And you have to decide, okay, am I gonna take more damage from the zap? Or... From the projectile? It's an easy choice if it's an imp we're talking about. If it's a, uh, Revenant? Eh. I don't know. I don't actually know how much damage an Archvile does. I just know it's a fair amount. Whew. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Right. I think I probably will put on, like, chapter markers for this. Kind of like what I did in Sunless 29. Because this might take a little little while to really figure this out. So one of the other problems is you could technically use those middle pillars to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I wish the engine handled those flames in a better way. Because it's just really... The... What the fuck was that? I... I... I don't know what I got stuck on. Hold on. Was it... Oh... Great. <laughs> so that's not actually flushed with anything. Okay. Yeah. I got a little greedy there, but like, uh, sometimes, yeah, you'll just... It just seems like the flames don't appear at all. But then the second you step out of cover, you just get zapped and... Uh, it's tricky. Tricky dicky. Uh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and I, I don't even know what that was. Obviously, it was a re uh, arch file thing. Yeah, this is a good video when I keep mixing up revenants and arch files this much. Whoa! Oh, uh, yeah, like right there. I, I don't think I saw a flame for that. <sighs> I don't know. It's not a whole lot the mapper can do about that, unfortunately, aside from not using arch files, which is not a solution. <laughs> okay, that time I heard it. See, that's the thing is you can hear them casting, but then when things get too chaotic. Yeah, good luck with that. Or, like, right there. I, I had no idea of knowing that I was actually in the line of fire. So to speak. Yeah. I... Mm. This is one of those cases where it would be better if the, um... If the game itself handled things a bit better. But... I think I've got, like, an overall... Oh, okay, I took way too much... Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I think I've got the right idea basically. What? How was... I... Mm. Yeah, there's just not enough visual feedback when you're actually getting zapped, unfortunately. It sounds weird with those giant flames, but when they don't work right, it's kind of like how the Y offset can get completely butchered with that due to a coding oversight. No, Decino's got an analysis video for that. Uh, okay. I think I, I think I saw that one coming. I had way too low health anyway. There's no way I would have been able to get through that. 
I still find it funny. It's just thinking, okay, yeah, Ultra Violence is going to be way worse if I ever get around to doing that. I think this might be one of those things where I do the Ultra Violence maybe for like... Yeah, what was that? Uh, don't care to... <laughs> care to explain that one to me. But anyway, yeah, I think with Ultra Violence, first map, maybe the second map, I don't think I'm ever going to do this one on UV. Unless it's in like 5 billion segments. Like, more than this one. How did you survive all that? Good sir. Yeah, you've got to move extremely carefully. Oh, fuck you, man. Come on. Trying to avoid grabbing that health because I don't need it. I don't need a damn fly swatter. All right. If you get that reference, I love you. So, um, do I want to do this? You know, we we spent a long time on this fight. I think I'm gonna wimp out and do that. And then if I pass it on my first my first attempt, then uh, kudos to me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is slowly go around. I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, this movement, like the whole counterclockwise movement, just comforts me. I think I'm going to have to make an exception, though, because I passed the switch up again. <laughs> Okay, got one down. Oh, you fucker. Fuck. You fucker. <laughs> that was... That was the noise I made. I think I just need to do fast laps. Okay, they're getting crushed. That's good. But you gotta watch out, because they can... No! They can still get you while they're dying. What the fuck? Did I actually hit him with a pellet when he was in fighting with something else? Because I think that's what might have happened there. I can't get around to him. Gotcha. Have mercy. Oh yeah, there's also one fight between this one and the other one that I'm dreading. Just in case anyone forgot about that one. Like I almost did. Okay. See? I didn't die and have to reload. So it's still single segment. <laughs> it's my story. And I'm sticking with it, damn it. Alright. I just got scared, that's all. Hmm. Oh, you just can't cross there. I like it. There you go. Get fucked. So, um... We're looking healthy. I gotta say, I'm glad I didn't grab, like, all of the things, because... That would have made this a lot harder, I think. Alright, so do we have any more health down here that I didn't acquire? I'd rather save a health kit up top, because I'm gonna be trapped up there for a little bit. But I don't think I'm gonna have that option. What about the optional area? Was there any health there? I'm pretty sure I probably grabbed all of that. Uh, we'll grab these shells, though. But, you know, there's only one way to find out, and you know what that means. We gotta do this crap again. <sighs> yeah. Let's check this first. Yep, grabbed all the stem packs. Probably has something to do with me uh, going down to 8 health at one point. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. You know, so far I've only missed this jump once. Well, I mean, not the jump itself, but... I've only fallen into the... I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh no, the other time I fell was when I was... When I screwed up the platforming up there. So that's completely different. Oh man, the final fight is... Oh, I forgot to mention that. That one's the other one that I'm dreading. 
<laughs> this is going to be exciting. All right. Up we go. And do we have anything up here that we haven't collected? Well, there's those shells. Ooh, thank you. Hidden conveniently behind a caco corpse. <laughs> As you do. All right, well, brings us up to 73 and 100, so that's, uh... It could be worse. Could be worse. I think, I mean, we have these guys that we're gonna have to deal with. We've got that guy we're gonna have to deal with. So this is gonna be phenomenal. That's, that's the word we're gonna use to describe this. Phenomenal. What? We at least have this. See, I told you we're locked in. Great, he's in fighting. If I mentioned this is boom compatible, which means uh, no lost soul limit. I mean, you know, because of course. So we have to have our and then suddenly God Machine moments. This is not God Machine. What am I talking about? That's not even close to God Machine. Nothing could be uh, quite that brilliant and shiny. See, the main reason I'm not using rockets here is because of those assholes. In case it wasn't obvious. Dude, can you shoot any more missiles? Alright. I shouldn't ask stupid questions. Bonk. Bonk. There we go. Okay. Did that one first try. <laughs> so now... Oh, really? Come on, dude. Alright, yeah, get your ass over here. I'm waiting. Bonk. So now, technically, if you wanted to... Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. That's right. You do have to go through all those fights. The optional one is... Yeah, that's... that's the optional one was over yonder. All these ones are actually required. Yes. Alright, anyway. Now, welcome to one of the other fights I was dreading. This one, which uh, at least gives you a little bit more breathing room, I guess. But uh, that is another thing, too, that's kind of funny with this map, is uh, you would have the BFG for this fight if you were playing it on UV. You only get the BFG early on UV. I think you have to wait until the secret fight to get it on any other skill level. So, um... Yeah, if you have skill issues, then I guess you're only getting the plasma for this one. Alright, let's do it. I forgot what this even looked like on this difficulty, so I might just be worrying for nothing. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna kinda loop-de-loo and... Oh yeah, I do get rockets. Wish I would've remembered that. I would've picked them up first. Or before hitting the big old switch. The big red button. Oh sh... of course! I want to go switch to uh, the missile launcher. Yeah, I end up getting hitboxed. Should probably be a little more mindful of what's going on to my sides. Ooh, nailed it! Oh, fuck off! I cannot believe I avoided that face rocket. Nope. That's the other problem with these guys, is even if you go in close and absorb the lost soul, ugh, you just let out a grunt. I, I don't I don't know where I was going with that. But even if you get close and absorb the uh, the lost soul, nope. It's not working. It still blocks you from moving for a second. Okay. I just need to get to a point where I can use rockets again, that's all. Because otherwise... So I'm casting it. <laughs> Figured if I did any splash damage to him... I was gonna have a... Ooh, bad time. Oh, damn it! Okay. Well, we still have this. 
we still have one more. That's it. Okay, fuck off. Now, uh... Just being semi-cautious. Holy crap, that was, uh... Way too close for any sort of comfort. Problem is, I can't really isolate the arch file. There's too much shit going on. Got him. All right. I heard that why, 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 and I felt happy. I felt a sense of profound glee. Now, I know there's another cell pack over here, I think. Unless I picked it up. I was trying to grab it a few times during... Yep, there we go. During the combat thing, but... Yeah, I kind of couldn't because there were a few things going on. Okay, well that fight actually wasn't too bad. Gotta say. You just go ahead and just check the corners for, yep, stuff like that. Even though there were only five there. Uh, I'll check the corners, then I'm gonna check the center again. Actually, it ended up with more health than I was expecting. Yeah, and this is one of those cases where, and I think that's where my uh, increased slaughter aptitude, I guess, kind of comes into hand in handy is because um, when it comes to larger spaces like this, I'm a bit better at navigating them because I seem to remember this fight taking me a while to get through on her, um, hey Nazi rough. It really wasn't a problem here. I guess I could have just dropped down slowly and grabbed these, but, you know, I'd rather make life hard on myself. Okay, <laughs> anyway. So, uh, I guess we're off to the secret fight. So now if we go over here, we see that this little step is finally raised up and we can go there. But uh, we're not going to do that just yet. So what you do is you sneak around here and you see that little thing right there. Remember that little torch that we raised by shooting it? It raises this lift. This lift will take us up and then we follow this little path to that green teleporter. And then we cry. So we've got a whole bunch of barons here. Uh, no, there's not just 12 of them. They're guarding the BFG. We've got these ones over here. They're, uh, you know, just, just vibing. See the BFG back there? We finally get it. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of nice. And there's, uh, six cacos. <laughs> there's, there's, there's more than six. Trust me. This is, uh, this is the thing that made, I'm just gonna save with this in hand, because I'm gonna need it. This is, uh, basically the thing that, well, <laughs> kept me from making this video for as long as I have. I'm trying to remember what I ultimately did, but I don't know if my practice back then would even really be relevant, because there's like a massive gulf between my skill then and my skill now, so, uh, as I proceed to take a, what looked to be a max damage roll, um, Baron hit. I do my deep rocket strategies. Huh. Can't get around him. Yep, that's it. That's game. Alright. <laughs> Wonder why I'm not doing this single segment, Lamau. Okay. Uh, can you auto-aim? Like, seriously, there's like an entire spread of caco demons, and you're telling me the game can't find a single one in auto-aim radius. Oh, boy. I do love how those ones got launched towards me. That's uh, that's a very nice touch. So I was trying to do last time. I got a little greedy. I was trying to rush the uh, barons and get an early grab on the BFG. Didn't really work because yeah, thanks for the face rocket. Didn't really work because things were a little bit too hairy still. Might be actually worth killing a few of those guys. Actually, maybe there are only twelve barons over there. I think I was thinking of, like, the next phase, the ones behind me, the really, really fun ones. This actually would be one of those situations where you kind of want to knock the Kako Demons away. Yeah, they're, they closed in a little too much. Funny enough, the first attempt was actually the best one. Uh, I really don't remember what my uh, strat was, but it was, like... 
it worked about 50% of the time. <laughs> so, um... Actually, probably not even that much, for being completely honest. I don't know, that was like... That was a while ago. A couple years? Shit. It's kind of hard to th hard to believe how long I've actually been doom tubing. I was looking at my fancy little Excel spreadsheet, and I'm like, yep, um... I did rush two years ago. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. Now just imagine what this is going to look like on UV. And then cry. Look, it's pretty bad here too, don't, don't get me wrong. I think my main strat was to try to focus on one side, but they just kind of keep coming. And then they kind of fly away like that, and then things just kind of go wrong. Yeah, like right now they're too close. I can't really squeeze past them. So I think maybe just stick to one side and maybe shoot across them like this. Right, they can also shoot at me. And that was a max damage roll. Are you out of your fucking mind, game? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got hit once in this fight. Okay, twice now, but um, three times, four times. And like the first time I got hit, max damage roll. Really? Yeah, they're just kind of meandering now. Ooh, and they're still teleporting in. That's not good. Yeah, that's the other problem is figuring out how long they're going to keep teleporting in. Hmm. I mean, I could do a more balanced strategy where I try to just throw e rockets on either side equally. I think that's kind of what I did on my first attempt, and it seemed to work. You just need to really get it kind of deep in the cluster. You know, basically what I'm trying to tell you is that um, coincidence, Okupluck videos are helpful for more than just Okupluck. And I guess just when they fly away like that, just kind of let them fly away. And then just face rocket because they like to just kind of randomly fly towards you like that. Fuckers. Okay. Alright, health is looking fantastic. So, um. Doom guy just got a little bit, uh. I don't know. <laughs> He was eating like a Texas barbecue burger and just made a huge mess, all right? That's all. It's not blood. It's barbecue sauce. And if <laughs> and if I reach 0% health, that's that's actually a tiredness bar and Doom guy just went into a food coma. That's all. Okay, I don't know if I have enough health for this. Just throwing that out there. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop one of these right there. I mean, I got that back there, but... Yeah, alright. <laughs> Actually, no, I want to save that for what's coming after these guys. Because you know, this is a Zool map, it's not just gonna be Barons. Oh boy, this gets, uh... Alright, fuck off with your high damage rolls, please! Okay, that... Second hit wasn't too bad. You know, I think this might be doable. I just need to be really careful. Yeah, we just need to be bigger on cells. I don't actually know how many I get. That's the problem with those, like, stacked cell boxes. Kind of obfuscates things just a tiny bit. Alright, let's just, um... Dump rockets until they get close, so I might as well use these as much as I can. Still have a lot of enemies to deal with. Just a few. Couple. One or two. Maybe three. I'm not really good at this whole counting thing. But, yeah, you know what, whatever. Easy does it. Jeez, I might actually need to switch to the BFG sooner. This is a bit too much. Because it makes it so I can't really track all the fireballs at once. 
it's a bit of a problem when you have nine health. And uh, when that's kind of behind you. Or behind these guys. Ah. Ah. <sighs> okay, I don't, that was... I don't know what my throat did there, but... Anyway. <laughs> that wasn't bad, though. I really wasn't bad. Um, it's a lot better than I used to do on this. So, uh, I'll take it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and buffer a weapon switch, because... I do need to use the rocket launcher at the beginning of this. Because I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know how many cells I get. I just don't, I need to switch sooner than I did last time. We'll say the Kako corpses really don't help here. I had what, about 27 last time? And then I just, because I don't know how much ammo I have available, I really need to restock when I have an even number like that. you don't want to end up getting a grabbing an entire box of shells a 100 pack and then only using 20 uh, like 20 of them because that's just sad and that's something I totally would do oh the worst part is I saw that and I didn't react properly all right we're getting closer this uh, fight was not even remotely close to as bad as I remember it being so, um, there's that at least. I guess just fire into the center of the pack. Just try to maximize splash damage and cut through the middle of them. Alright, that's good. The part I worry about is the cyber demons, because I can't really... There's, I think, five of them. Five or six. And I really can't afford to, um... I really can't afford to get up and use tracers on them. I just have to kind of take what I can get. Although one bright side about that is that they can help me a little bit with these guys. So that whole thing that I said about trying to maximize BFG ammo. Lies. Yeah, that's the problem. The scariest part about this final phase is you can't see their rockets over this bullshit. So, um... A little bit of an issue there. But either way, we're getting to basically the same part every time. Just getting a little bit better at it each time, so, uh, well, kinda. <laughs> it's been a little bit stagnant lately, but, you know what? I'll take consistency, that's for sure. It's not like this part's really that mechanically difficult, it's just... Man, I couldn't find the damn cells. I guess I was further forward than I was than I thought I was. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of mechanical complexity. It's just basically Whoa, what? Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, that it, it's really so what I need to do is go immediately to the back of the room when the cyber demons come out. When the cybs come marching in. Thankfully I killed the, the cacos close enough to the middle that I still have a little bit of time to react, so um it could be worse. Ooh, that was a mercifully low damage roll, thank you. I don't always succeed in this, but I do try to call out low damage rolls that I take. Because, you know, it's only fair. RNG does giveth, and RNG does taketh away, and it just took us away right there. It took us away quite a bit. You know, after I give you a shout out and everything in my my highly popular DoomTuber channel, you screw me like this. I can't believe it. It is so tempting to just kind of ride up closer and just let the tracers do a little bit more work, but... Shoot, am I gonna have enough ammo for this? I don't even know what words actually just came out of my mouth. 
Nope. 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 Finally. <sighs> All right. Omega Minor. Hurt me plenty. Finally knocked out. Holy shit. <laughs> that's been a long time coming, that's for sure. So overall, um, yeah, I think stepping away from this for uh, a couple dozen months uh, really kind of helped <laughs> a lot. Because <laughs> I was able to just generally improve at the game. Because, I mean, shoot, last time I touched this was what, like mid 2022 maybe it's been like a year and a half and i've played a lot of stuff from like then till now and i think that helped i mean like i said the the first fight i remember last time when i was practicing this map even that first fight took me m like numerous attempts and i mean there were just some fights here that i s absolutely struggled with before that i just knocked out just in one go now granted there's a few really tough fights in this one, even on this difficulty. And, uh, yeah, again, kudos to the people who could do this on UV because that is a whole nother level. But yeah, there's a couple tough fights on here, but it really wasn't as bad as, well, I was kind of fearing it would be, but I guess uh, we could kind of finally, after all this time, put the nail on the <laughs> dimensions hurt me plenty series. Now, as far as UV goes, I mean, that's a big, it depends, because I don't really know. Even map one, which was kind of my bread and butter for doing various stupid-ass challenges, like mouse only. Um, even with that one, it's just kind of... I mean, it's a huge step up from what I remember. Although then again, last time I tried it was like a year ago, so who the hell knows. But anyway, it's been about a, a lovely little hour here. And we've gone through... Um, We've gone through a lot. We've gone through some good times, some bad times, some very messy, splattery times. But all that's important is we got to this screen, we maxed this sucker with saves, and uh, yeah, I can finally close the book on this one. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.